department. Why? Because we provide the standard. What's our standard? 2 peso per pound. But they purchase 2.20 per pound. In your opinion, what is the reason why they will purchase a material which has a higher price? Probably higher quality. That's why if the result will be more favorable to the company, we will not reprimand them. That's why we have to compute the overall impact on the cost. Now let's compute the material price variance. Simply lang yung formula. Standard price minus actual price. What's up to you if you will compute it? Because the cheap amount that will present it to you. Diba? Times the actual material purchase. So what is the standard price? 2 pesos. What is the actual price? 2.20 times the actual materials we have purchased is during August, the company acquired 5,000 pounds. So, times 5,000. So, 5,000 times 0.20, definitely we have 1,000 variants. But what type of variants? Is it favorable? Is it unfavorable? Diba? You have to evaluate. Ano standard natin? 2 pesos. What's the actual? 2.3. Is it favorable or unfavorable? Unpayable. Now, who will be the one who is responsible for this unfavorable variance? Definitely the purchasing department. You have to ask the purchasing department. Why, why did you decide to purchase a 2.2 per pound material when we have set the standard of 2 pesos per hour? So probably the reason is that where there is a change in the law of supply and demand, and we cannot find a product or a material with a price of only 2 pesos. If that is the reason, justify it. So how can he decide to purchase 2 pesos if there is no 2 pesos? Now let's go to another variance. Material quantity variance. Of course, material quantity variance, definitely. That is the responsibility of engineering production department. What do you mean? The engineering must minimize the number of materials for the production of each product. In this case, the standard material is 4 per pound. I mean, 4 pounds per product. For every product, we have to use only 4 pounds. But ano sabi? The company produce 1,000 units of a product using 3,600 pounds only. So, therefore, ano yung formula? ng material quantity variance <coughs> standard material minus actual material use times standard price. Now, what is the standard material? Sabi, 4 per pound. And how many, how many products did we produce? 1,000 products. So, the standard material for 1,000 products is 1,000 product times 4. How much? 4,000 4, is the standard material. But our engineering department was able to produce 1,000 using only 3C. Nakatipid ba sila? Yes. 3C times, what is the standard price? 2 pesos. 2 times 400, that is definitely 800. Favorable and favorable? Favorable variants. Now, do we... A reward? Will we reward the engineering department or yes. reprimand them? We will reward them. Why? Because they were able to minimize the cost. Now, ano sabi ng purchasing department? Well, we purchased 2.20 per pound because that materials are of high quality. But if you are the CFO, you will tell you provided a favorable variance of 1,000 in exchange for 800 favorable. In total, the net effect is 200 unfavorable. We will suffer a higher cost. Therefore, that is the problem of the purchasing department. Diba? So we will blame the purchasing department. Sometimes that's the other way around. Parang the other way around. The purchasing department will be able to save because they will purchase a low quality any expensive materials. But what is the effect? Those low quality 
low expensive materials. With result to more materials in case of production. So, kawawa yung production. Ano sasabihin ng production? Yes, sir. Eh, kaya kami aksaya because the materials have low quality. Now, you have to blame again the purchase. Why did you purchase low quality, inexpensive materials? For purposes of making savings to the detriment of the quality of our products. See, because sometimes kasi the engineering department has no choice but to use the products, the materials provided by the purchasing. Example, in a particular department, di ba, normally I am printing the examination. Di ba, the exam. The problem is sometimes the ink is not good. Sometimes the, the chalk is not good. And then I will request another. And after evaluation, it will result the audit internal audit department of DLS will determine the accountancy department has the most uh, has the highest cost of office supplies. And then we will tell because the quality of office supplies given to us by the purchasing is very low. Eh, pag nagpiprint na pupunit yung papel eh. So we have to print that mess. So why will you blame us? You ask the purchasing department. That is the purpose of responsibility accounting. You have to pinpoint the particular responsible manager. Not just the, oh, ikaw yan, ikaw yan. Di ba? You have to determine who is responsible for the cost. Another one, di ba? Uh, direct labor variance. This, you can relate to this. Because definitely, you will set the salary of your employees. Normally, in a church, in a archdiocese, who picks the salary of the employees? HR. Oh, HR. That's why. When it comes to labor rate variance, who is responsible? Human resource. That's why if you are an employee, you have to be close to the human resource department. Because they will be the one to increase your rate. All those subject to the recommendation of your immediate supervisor, but at the end of the day, they will be the one to provide your example. When I go to SGB, some of my friends have been offered, I think, 14,000 a month. Yeah, but I have been offered, until na, so a higher one, di ba? I think, probably 25. Mas same lang naman kami. Di ba? Is that a favorable variance? Yes, because the standard salary is 14,000. Why will we offer Reginald Laco, a higher salary. Well, probably because of the, the background, the performance in the board exam. But, di ba? In that case, there is unfavorable labor rate barriers. The HR must be able to justify it. Why will you give this person a higher salary than the other person when they are performing the same type of job? They have the same position. You have to ask the human resource. And there's really discrimination when it comes to auditing firms. Even law firms, if you're a top notch chair, definitely, you will have, you will receive a higher rate. But sa'yo ng classmate ko, what's the difference? I will type, you will type. I will count the inventory. I will count the inventory. Diba? But of course, it's up to the uh, human resource. Diba? That's the responsibility of the HR. When it comes to labor efficiency, that is the responsibility of the production, meaning the engineering department. That's why there's a supervisor who will look into factory workers who are sleepy. Oi, di ba? Tutulog ka. You perform your work. Because you have to finish it within five hours. And you are already working for seven hours. Because you are browsing your Facebook account. Oh, di ba? So, who has the talk to control it? <laughs> And all of, definitely, most of us are guilty of that. I'm also thinking while working sometimes, you know, while we have examination for our students, I will post with Facebook. But what will I do? I have to wait for three hours. The exam is for three hours. But some you have to prepare your research while, you know, while watching them, taking their exam. Double tasking naman yun. You know, but of course, uh, let's compute. Tingnan natin to, ha? The standard direct labor art cost for a product of a charitable company is 3 hours at 6 pesos per hour. So this is the standard rate. The salary is 6 pesos per hour. 
budgeted production was 10,000 units and actual production was 12,000 units. Actual direct labor cost was 210,375. So, of course, we have to compute the direct labor rate variance. <laughs> so normally, standard rate minus actual rate times actual direct labor hours. So our standard rate is 6 pesos per hour. Okay, let's compute the actual rate. I want that my calculator is okay. Cell phone na lang. Kasi hindi ko na ilagay siya per hour. Nakatotal na. So, 210,375 210,375 divided by 38,250 The actual rate per hour is 5.5 Okay, standard rate 6 Actual rate 5.5 per hour Times actual direct labor hours What is the actual direct labor hours? 38,250 times 38,250 38,250 times 0.5 0.5 times 38,250 so 19,125 so this one, favorable and favorable our standard rate is 6 but we provide a salary to our employee only of 5.5 per hour that's that uh, they add Human resource, able to bargain with the union? Yes. Is it favorable? Yes. Favorable. That's why nga, pansin niyo yung mga human resource, normally charming. Normally psychology, psychology graduate, tourism graduate. You know, when, I was, when I was asked by different auditing firms to apply, one of the HR of SGD, she's very beautiful. And I cannot resist. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Because most of their human resource, I think, stops. They are former Miss Earth, Miss Earth. Miss Earth. Wow. And how can you resist? Mrs. Dobbs. Mrs. Dobbs. You don't guess, ba? No, ba? Appreciated, do you? The point says it's appreciated, do you? But of course, do you? That's why normally they HR, do you? Because they will bargain with their salary. And our human resource was able to bargain. Okay. Now let's go now to direct labor usage or efficiency variance. Of course, standard hours minus actual hours times standard rate. Now our standard hours is 3 hours per unit. So 3 hours times 12 because our actual production is 12, 36 hours. So our standard hours for the production is 36,000 hours minus actual hours. What's the actual <coughs> hours of production? 38,250. Times standard rate of 6. <coughs> so 2,250. 2,250 times 6. 2250 times 6, 13.5. Now, who is responsible for material, uh, direct labor efficiency, the production department? Is it favorable and favorable? They can finish the products within 36,000 hours. But they were able to finish it for 38,250. Favorable and favorable? What, why do you think is the reason? What are they doing during working hours? <laughs> now, we can determine who is the responsible officer for reprimanding them. Look at your subordinates. Or, ano? Sister, who will be the one to be punished ultimately? Sister? HR. Why? Because the HR employ lowly pay, but Inexperienced employees. You want to normally with the problem with lowly paid, inexperienced? They do not know how to do their job, so they have to learn it again and again, and that, that will entail additional 
hours. But let's compute in overall. 19,125 favorable, 13,5 unfavorable. If we will net it, that will still be favorable to the company. So the HR will say, oh, well, see, we have a table to bargain here. But of course, the head of the engineering department will say, well, you give us, di ba, inexperienced employees. That's why sometimes the HR will provide a higher salary for those experience. Sometimes they will be given signing bonus because of the experience. Okay? That's for the this morning. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay. The Board of Trustees of Santo Rosario College establishing standards as basis for performance evaluation of its teaching personnel. The Human Resource Head proposes two alternatives. First, mandatory attainment of MBA within a period of 8 years or mandatory attainment of PhD within a period of 5 years to all teaching personnel. If you are the member of the board, how will you decide? Which between the two alternatives will you approve? The first alternative or the second alternative? Diba? It's a MBA 8 years. MBA is a PhD 5 years. Which one would you propose a standard for performance or for promotion of your teachers? <laughs> you, yung mga next, yung, yung ating mga, mga bishop, archbishop, record ba sila mag-doctorate? No. Hindi, no. but uh, optional, sakto din. Sa, sa teacher kasi to become a, a professor, you have to, you have to. I do not know. No. Which one? Before we have a break, let's break. Which one? And I will explain. Are you explain your reason for choosing that one? It's a MBA lang, but like that, eight years. It's a naman PhD, pero that matapos mo yung date, five years. <laughs> ano ba? Sister. The PhD within a period of five years. Why, sister? Because a uh, short time, a short period, then the PhD is a uh, higher quality. No? So there is a profit for the institution if you allow that. Okay, that is a very high standard. <laughs> but what's the problem with a very strict, a very high standard? You do it, definitely demoralize your employees. Because they will never be able to, they will never, but they, it will be improbable for them to finish it. But they will be forced to do it. What's the problem with the first alternative? A very relaxed standard, a very low. They will become relaxed. Because eight years, so I will not make my, my thesis. But you have to balance it. A very high standard will demoralize your employee. But a very low will make them will make them relax. It will not motivate them. That's why it should be. Yeah, it should be. You have to balance it. It's very hard. I mean, I've been in auditing firm. Audit in auditing firm that is the most competitive environment. All CPAs there as part to become partners, and they normally compete with each other. And sometimes I cannot understand why do I have to work overtime, overnight, when I'm, I already finished my work. But I have to wait for my boss because my boss will determine if I will be promoted or not. It's a very high standard. Right? Like the go government, standard the government. I think the government, they are not allowed to arrive at 8 a.m. Sometimes they arrive at 9. They will have a break at 11. They will start office at 2. They will go home at 4. That's why we have inefficiency in the government. But the problem is, yun kasi ngang stano yung demoralization chaka. But it's up to you. You are the heads of your organization. You will be the one. That's why you have to ask them. Those already on that particular situation, you have to ask to, to set a particular compromise because this one has been set in USD and what is the implication? Those who have now masterized, 
will become part-time employees of they will not be given load of more than 12 units. Only 12 units. But of course, what's the goal? In order to improve the ranking in, I think there's a ranking in different universities, and only problem QST is when it comes to research. So to solve that, they compel them to obtain their master. Sige, lunch na tayo. May question. Marami question. Pag may question kayo sa ano, from time to time. Because yung next topic natin, medyo merong pointing legal implication. Thank you.